guys, it's Haley with Student Wellness. For this workout, we're going to be doing a 15 minute mini band workout, working both our upper body and our lower body. So really challenging the entire body with strength. What you'll need for it is a mini band. You can either use the ones that we have available at Student Wellness. So the yellow one is going to be the lightest, the green is going to be a moderate resistance, and then the blue is going to be the most intense. I'm probably going to be sticking with either the yellow or the green for this workout, but feel free to choose whatever works best for your body. If you, if you have your own band, feel free to use that as well. How this workout's going to work, we're going to have three different exercises that we're going to cycle through five different rounds of. We're going to do one exercise for 40 seconds, take a 20 second break, and then start the next exercise. And repeat each three of those five different times, so five different rounds of the three exercises. If you haven't already, I'll walk you through a brief little warm up and then I'll go ahead and demonstrate the exercises we're going to do. That way, once I start the clock, we can zoom through it um, without any demoing, all right? So again, if you've already warmed up, cool, you can skip ahead. If not, I'll walk you through a really brief warm up right here. For this warm up, what we're going to do are plank to down dogs to really help open up the shoulders and stretch out the calves and the hamstrings. Then we're going to do a low runner's lunge to open up both the thoracic spine and the hips. And then we're going to do some lateral band walks using our bands to help warm up the glutes and get the lower body burning, all right? So we're going to start in a plank position. In this plank position, our hips are tucked under. We're driving our palms through the floor. We don't want our low back, back to sag, so tuck those hips under. From here, we're going to press back through our hands and push into a downward dog position. If you can keep your legs straight, great. Otherwise, feel free to have a nice big bend in your knees. Inhale, back to plank position. Exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, plank position. Exhale, down dog. Move through about five or six more of these. Feel free to go along with me or to just do it at your own pace, making sure that you're sinking the movement to your breath. Again, exhaling to your down dog, inhaling to plank, warming up the shoulders and getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs. One more here. Great. From here, we're gonna go ahead and step our right foot forward to the outside of our left hand. If you need to, feel free to drop down to your knee in the back, but make sure that you have um, a mat or a pillow or a blanket, something to pad up your knee if needed. From here, we're going to flex the right toes and open up that right hip. So I'm dropping my hip or my knee towards the out, outside wall. From here, go ahead and plant that foot back down, and then we're gonna open up like a rainbow to the back of the room, getting a nice stretch through our upper back. Return to our plank, to our lunge position. Now push back into plank and repeat on the other side. Stepping that foot down, flexing those toes, rolling that hip out, opening up like a rainbow. <laughs> Inhaling back, exhaling back to plank. Again, same thing on the other side. Feel free to move at your own pace here, really focusing on opening up the hips, getting the nice stretch through the upper back, and always wanting to exhale as we're doing our rainbow here. So aim for about three to five on each side. Really, we're still warming up the shoulders, the hips, the upper back. If you're like me, you might already be sweating. <laughs> Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more on each side. Again, moving slowly, exhaling as I open up to my rainbow. Beautiful. So once you finish your last one, go ahead and step back to that plank position and then just walk your hands up to your, walk your feet to your hands and stand up nice and slow. Next, we're gonna do our lateral band blocks. So for this, Go ahead and grab whatever band you want for this one. Remember, we are warming up, so feel free to grab a lighter band. Um, take a seat to put your band on. We don't want to risk falling over or tripping. Put one leg through the band and then the other. The higher up the band is on your leg, the easier the movement's going to be. So if I have the band at my ankles, I'm going to be working my glutes a little bit harder. If I move it up to above my knees, it's going to be a little bit easier. The big thing you want to make sure not to do, we never want to put the band directly on our knees. 
So go ahead and choose a spot for the band for you. Get up nice and carefully. I'm going to start out one side of my mat and I'm going to take about three to five steps to the right and then go the other way to the left. So I'm sitting my hips back and down a little bit, so activating the quadriceps. I'm tucking my hips under so that my low back is not absorbing any pressure. Hands can be on your hips, at your heart, whatever feels best. I'm going to take a step out to my right, keeping tension on the band. Really think about driving with your heels. So pushing through the heel, and now I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Pushing through my heels, noticing that my glutes are firing, I'm feeling I'm burning a little bit. Keep breathing here. Feel free to stand up as you make your way to one side of the mat. Take a little break. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up here, shake it out, and then move my way back over to the other side of the mat. Again, keep breathing, keeping tension on that band, moving nice and slow. Great. Do about five more steps on each side. And then when you're ready, we're gonna repeat that one more time. Again, we're doing about five to 10 of each movement depending upon how quickly you're moving. So we'll move through those a little bit more fluidly. Again, the reps are um, plank to down dog and then that low runner's lunge to the rainbow and then the lateral band walks, all right? So take your time, move at your own pace. I'll work through one more round and then I'll start demonstrating the resistance band exercises for the workout, all right? So go ahead and take it back down that plank position. Again, driving palms through the mat, exhaling back to down dog, inhaling plank. Exhaling down dog, pressing through your hands, inhaling plank. Exhale, down dog, inhale, plank. Two more here. Plank, down dog, plank. Nice. Right leg comes forward, drop that back knee if you want. Open up to rainbow. Nice, other side. Left foot forward, always feel free to drop that left knee, or that right knee rather. Again, other side, opening up like a rainbow, pressing that knee out. Beautiful, left, left foot forward. Again, dropping that knee down if you feel comfortable and if you prefer that, either is a great option. We'll finish up with our last one here on the left side. Nice. Come back to plank, and again, walk your hands or your feet to your hands. Come up nice and slow. Grab that band for a lap band walks. Again, sitting down, placing the band around the ankles, the shins, or above the knees. Carefully stand back up. And again, we'll go to the left, or I'm sorry, the right. And back to the other side. Continuing to breathe, keeping tension on that band. Take a break as you need to. Again, we're just warming up. <laughs> Shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna wake my way back to the other side of the mat and then we're gonna be good. So go ahead and make, make your way there. One last rep. All right. So feel free to keep moving, keep your body warm as I'm demonstrating the exercises for the workout. Um, you can do jumping jacks or some squats, whatever feels best for you and your body. The three exercises that we're going to be doing are a single leg RDL to a bent over row. So this is going to be, we'll do it all on our right side for 40 seconds, take a 20 second break, and then do it on our left side for 40 seconds, take a 20 second break. How this one works, you're going to loop the band under the arch of your foot. So you'll notice there's some tension. I'm going to keep that right leg a little bit bent, kickstand my left leg here. Notice that my back is already nice and long, straight line through my neck, down to my butt. From here, I'm going to squeeze my glute, stand up, come back down, 
And now I'm gonna row. So I'm gonna pull the band up towards my hip, feel my back working, and relax down. Again, standing up, squeezing the glute, coming back down, pulling up, elbow to, show, to hip, and back down. So we're working our hamstrings, our glutes, and our back with this one. We're also challenging our core a little bit because it is a one-sided movement. But again, that foot, that left foot, or the leg that's not working, is kickstanding in the back so that we can make sure we're shooting our hips back um, rather than collapsing our chest forward. So again, karate chop those hips back, feel the tension in that hamstring, squeeze your glute to stand, and then we're adding in that row. All right, so again, you're gonna do 40 seconds on the right. We'll rest for 20 seconds, 40 seconds on the left, rest for 20 seconds. Our second exercise is going to be that lap band walk to a push-up. So for the lap band walk, again, same thing that it was, you're going to take about five steps to one side. One, two, three, four, five. Now from here, I'm going to very carefully walk my hands out to a push-up position, drop down to a push-up, walk my hands back in, and stand up. Now, if you can't quite do a full push-up from your toes, no biggie. What you're gonna do is drop down to your knees. So again, walking your hands out in that plank position, Drop to your knees, please pad them up if you are going to do this. Lower down to your push-up, exhale, tuck your toes, plank, walk your hands back up. Then we're gonna make our way to the other side and do the push-up on the other side as well, all right? So that's your second exercise. Um, you'll do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Our final exercise we're going to get down on the floor for. So we'll get down on the floor. We'll likely already have this looped around our legs from the lap band walks. We're going to bring the band up above our knees because we're going to be doing glute bridges with a tricep dip. So how this one works, you're going to lie on the floor, make sure that your feet are planted about hip width apart. We, you're already going to feel the resistance trying to bring your knees together, fight the urge. So already pressing our knees out against the band to create tension. We're going to tuck our hips under, seal our low back to the mat, exhale, press up, squeeze the glutes, lower down, exhale, press up, lower down, press up, lower down, press up, lower down. We're going to do five glute bridges, and then we're going to sit up. Feet can stay about in the same position. You might need to push them out a little bit. Put your fingertips and your hands on the ground, fingertips facing your glutes. We're going to press up through the hips and we're gonna be doing tricep dips. So we're shooting our elbows back behind us, exhaling as we come up. Inhale down, exhale up. We'll do five tricep dips and then we will return to the glute bridges. All right, so feel free to pause the video and re-watch the exercises, but otherwise we're gonna get going. So again, we've got four rounds, four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. That's a lot of fours. Remember the first one is that single leg RDL to a bent over row. We'll do it on one side and then we'll rest for 20 seconds, do it on the other. And then we'll get into our lap band walks with a push up. And then we've got our um, glute bridges with our tricep dips. Remember we're doing five bridges, five dips. I wanna remind you this is supposed to be a strength workout. So if you're like me, you probably are already sweating, but the goal is not to get super sweaty and out of breath. What we really wanna focus on is doing nice, slow, and controlled movements. So not moving quick. We're being efficient with our movements. We're really trying to work um, our upper body and our lower body muscles to gain strength in those areas, all right? If you don't already, go ahead and grab some water. Remember that though I'm gonna have a timer on for us, this is your workout, this is your body. Feel free to take a break whenever you need to. Grab water, go to the restroom, take a breather, whatever you need. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stand on up. Um, you can select the band that you wanna start with. Again, I'm probably gonna start with the yellow one just to see what it feels like for my first round. We can always um, increase the resistance if we need to. I'm gonna get the timer going. Right when I start play, we're gonna start with our first exercise, which again is that single leg RDL to bend over row. So feel free to get into that position already. So again, you're looping the band under the arch of your foot, 
making sure that our tuck, hips are tucked under, we're pushing our hips back, squeezing that core, and I'm gonna start the timer for us. All right, go ahead and get started. So again, looping the band under, shooting our hips back, kick standing with that back leg. When we come back down, we're doing the row. Release, stand up, squeeze a glute, bent over row. Elbow and arm should stay in line with each other, and we're drawing that band up towards our hip, working the back. Nice. We're down to 17 seconds, guys. Keep squeezing. Core tight. We're feeling our hamstrings working. Nice job. Five more seconds here. Then we've got a 20 second rest, and then we'll repeat on the left side. Keep it up. And rest. So again, we've got 20 seconds here. You might be realizing your band is too light for you or a little bit too heavy. Feel free to switch it out now if you want to, or you can just wait and see how it feels by the end of the first round. We've got five seconds. Let's go ahead and get set up on the left side. Loop that band, kick stick your right foot. Here we go. Exhale, come up, bent over row. Nice. Exhale and squeeze, bent over row. You can totally go at your own pace. Remember the focus here is strength. So we're moving slow, we're breathing, we're squeezing our muscles, even holding them at that point of tension. So I'm holding my row for about a count before I release it. We're already down to about 15 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Nice job. Five more seconds and then we get a break. We can get set up for the next exercise. Beautiful. All right, so our next exercise are those lap band walks with a push-up. So for this one, sit yourself down real quickly, wrap that band around your legs, ankles, shins, or thighs. Get stood up, you got five seconds here. Take your time, breathe a little bit. All right, we're taking about three to five steps to one side. We're walking our hands out, dropping to our knees if we need to. Exhale as we come up from our push-up. Stand up nice and tall, squat back down. We're working our way to the other side here. Nice job, guys. Again, walk those hands out, lower down, exhale up. Beautiful, squeezing the glutes, back down. Use the lat band walks to really try to catch your breath. If you are out of breath like I am. Nice job. All right, break time. So you can, now we'll go ahead and get sat down for the glute bridges with the tricep dips. So keep that band wrapped around your legs, move it up to your thighs. Scoot on down, lay back. We got about five seconds, tuck those hips under, get ready to glute bridge. Here we go, squeeze the glutes, drive through the heels, lower down. Two, lower down, three, lower down, four, last one here, five. Beautiful, walk your feet out, tuck those fingertips in towards your butt. Let's get set up for those tricep dips. One, two, three, four, five, back to our bridges. Again, tuck the hips, one, two, three, four, five, Tricep dips, we got a couple seconds here. One, two, three, nice. So again, we got 20 seconds, and then we're back up to the top with the RDLs and the bent over row. So again, 10 seconds here. Go ahead and get yourself set. If you wanna try out a different band, feel free to. Now you know how quick we're gonna be moving. Here we go, right side. RDL to bent over row. Nice job, you guys. Squeezing that glute at the top, making sure you're getting a full extension. We're not half in any of these reps. Beautiful. We're coming up on the halfway point here. Nice job. Exhale as you pull that resistance band up to your side for that bent over row. Beautiful. Just over 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Feeling the strength in the back of the legs, in the back. Nice. 20 seconds of rest, then we're going to the other side. Feel free to grab your water, get a quick drink. 
10 seconds to go. Again, getting set up, looping that band around the base of your, around the arch of your foot, rather. Two seconds, kickstand your foot, here we go. RDL, bent over row. RDL, bent over row. Nice job, you guys. If you start to feel tension in your lower back and it's hurting, check in with how your hips are positioned. We want our hips tucked under, core should be nice and tough here. We're shooting the hips back, keeping the core engaged. Very good. Nice job. A couple more. We've got three more seconds. See if you can get one more rep in. Beautiful. Let's get set up for those lap band walks. Again, taking a seat. If you feel comfortable slipping on your band while you're standing, totally cool. I'm gonna play it safe here. All right, five seconds. Again, I'm gonna take four steps to one side. One, two, three, four. Walk your hands out, push up. Exhale on your way back up. Stand up, squeeze the glutes, other side. Nice. Walk those hands out. Always feel free to drop down to your knees if you need to. But making sure if you are dropping down to your knees that before you try to walk back up, you're getting into that nice plank position like so before I lock my hands back in. Nice. Five seconds, let's see if we can get one more push up in. Walk the hands out. Oh, all right. So we can stay seated, pull your band up to above your knees. If your bands are like mine, they might roll a little bit. That's totally okay. It's just the way bands work sometimes. <laughs> Getting ready for those glute bridges. Tuck the hips. One. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you're squeezing on those tricep dips. One, two, three, four, five. Back down for glute bridges. Again, tension on your band, making sure we're pushing our knees out as we're squeezing our glutes and driving through the heels. I lost count. I think that's five. Back up for dips. One, two, three, four, five. Back down to our bridges, just in time. All right, so that was our second round. We've got 15 seconds and we're moving into round three. As a reminder, we have a couple more rounds after this. We've got four rounds total. That means two more after here. Loop that band around. Here we go, RDLs. You got this, guys. Lengthen through your hamstring. Exhale as you squeeze at the top. Don't forget your bent over row like I just did. <laughs> nice. Again, bringing that band up towards our hip. Taking a slight pause. Return. Exhale up. Nice. Pause at the top. Exhale up. Beautiful, guys. You got just over 10 seconds to go here. Keep breathing. If you're like me, keep on sweating. If you're not sweating, that's totally okay. <laughs> nice. And relax. 20 seconds. We're going to move on to the left side. Again, feel free to grab a drink of water. Whatever you need to do. 10 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this way. Just that way you can see my form on this side as well. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. RDL, full extension, bent over row. Nice. RDL, bent over row. Exhaling up, exhaling as we pull. Again, if you're feeling tension in your low back or pain, that's your cue to tuck those hips under, squeeze your core, making sure you're kickstanding. That's gonna help support you a little bit more. Keep on breathing. Nice. All right, we're getting ready for those lap band walks. So again, loop your band around your ankles, calves, 
or above your knees at your thighs. Stand on up. I'm going to start on this side just to help balance my body out a little bit. I was starting on the other side for the other two rounds. Squat position, walk. Two, three, four, push up. Walk our hands out, inhale down, exhale up, walk your hands back in. Other side, <laughs> two, three, four. Nice job, everybody. Inhale down, exhale up, walk your hands back in. Beautiful, we got 15 seconds left. Nice. Again, moving at your own pace, doing the movement that feels best for you and your body. Five more seconds, let's walk our way back over to the other side of the mat. Nice. <laughs> get in, go ahead and get on down to the floor. Again, we've got glute bridges next with our tricep dips. Move at your own pace. So if you're not on pace with me, totally okay. Just keep on going until the timer runs out. <laughs> Plant those feet, tuck your hips, core is tight, get ready to drive through the heels. One, two, three, four. I realize I forgot to pull my band up. <laughs> Try set <something> this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Back down for the glute bridges. Tuck your hips. One, two, three, four. Five, back up for the dips. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many more bridges we can get in. One, two, three. Nice. All right, you guys, that was round three. We've got one more round to go. We'll start in 10 seconds. If you want, maybe you challenge yourself a little bit on this last one. Grab that blue band or a tighter band. Or maybe you stay with exactly what you've been doing the whole time. That's totally fine too. Here we go. Ready? RBL, stand up strong, bent over row. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale pull, ex inhale down. Here we go. Nice job. Again, squeezing the glute at the top and making sure that we're holding in that bent over row for at least Half a second before we release it down. Give me 10 more seconds, guys. You got this. Last time on this side. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Again, if you're like me, maybe your upper back is burning a little bit, or your lats, rather. Let's get set for the left side. Again, last time on this side. Really wanting to push those hips back. Elongate that hamstring. Really squeezing the glutes at the top. Here we go. Kickstand your foot. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale row. Inhale down. Great job, you guys. Halfway through with this side for the last round. You're doing great. Keeping that core nice and tight, making sure we're protecting the lower back. Anytime we do single leg, single arm movements, we're challenging the core a little bit more. And rest, get set up for those lat band walks. Again, ankles, calves, or thighs, but making sure that it's above the knees if you're going on the thighs. We got five seconds, here we go guys. Last time for this exercise. Mini squat, one, two, ooh, it's burning, three, four, I'm gonna go with five. Walk your hands out, push up, position, walk them back in, stand up nice and strong. Other side, here we go. Three, four, walk your hands out, inhale, exhale, here we go. Back up to the other side, we got 15 seconds. Last time doing the lap bands. Last time doing your push-ups. Don't let that form falter. Wanting to stay nice and strong, protecting the body. Beautiful. Let's drop it back down. Last time doing our glute bridges with our tricep dips. 
Make sure I get the band hold up this time. 10 seconds, here we go. Again, tuck the hips under. We're gonna squeeze the glutes, drive through the heels. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Up for our dips. Fingertips towards the butt. One, two, three, four, five. Back down. Last time for these bridges. Squeeze at the top, you guys. Little pause before we lower. Four, five. One last time for our dips. One, two, three, four, five. How many more bridges can we get in? Strong and slow here. Nice. Woohoo! Good job, everybody. So that concludes our quick 16 minute mini band and body weight workout. Let's go ahead and do some stretching. So I'm gonna first have you come to a standing position. Whew. Let's just take a big breath in here. Rock your hands behind your back. Exhale as you lift the hands away from your body. Nice job, everyone. Again, notice how your body feels right now, hopefully feeling strong. The mini bands are a great way to help stabilize, work some muscles that maybe you're not used to working. From here, go ahead and take it down to one knee. We're gonna do a quick hip flexor stretch. So we want about a 90 degree angle in both knees. Tuck the hips under and shift your weight just slightly forward. Squeeze that back glute. Feel the stretch through the front of your hip. Beautiful. Again, squeeze the glute, tucking it under. Really dramatic tuck. Maybe raise that right hand and shift over to the left to get a deeper stretch. Beautiful. Come back up. Let's sit back for a nice hamstring stretch on the left side. Flexing the toes. We're not trying to sit back too much. Stay nice and tall. You might want to keep a slight bend in that left hamstring. And you can rotate your ankle a little bit to see where, what part of the hamstring might be a little bit more stretched for you. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and turn to the other side. Same thing on the left. 90 degree angle in both knees. Tuck your hips under. Again, you might feel a stretch just doing this. Make sure you're squeezing that back glute. Shift your weight forward a little bit. Breathe here, slowing the breath down. For that extra stretch, you can reach up with the right hand, lean over to your left or your right. Beautiful, back to center, lower down, tuck the toes, shift the weight back for a nice hamstring stretch on the right, right leg. Breathing here. Finding the spot that maybe we need a little bit more stretch than others. Beautiful. From here, we're going to go ahead and walk our foot over to maybe one side of the mat. Set it down for a nice little pigeon stretch. Now you might be up really high in this stretch, that's totally okay. For a less exaggerated stretch, you can bring your foot closer in towards your left thigh. And what we're looking to feel is a stretch on the outside of our right leg. So the same places that you felt with those lat band walks, we're hoping to feel that stretch here with the pigeon. You can stay up nice and tall, or you can lower down to whatever feels good for you. And again, breathing nice and slow here. Beautiful. To come out of this stretch, you're gonna rock onto your right hip and rotate around. We're gonna do it on the other side. So, coming up to kind of that kneeling position, straighten out that back leg and sitting down onto the left hip. Again, the closer your left foot is towards your right thigh, the less intense the stretch is going to be. It also just matters what your hip anatomy is like. So if you have very bendy hips or very flexible hips, 
you might be able to have a nice 90 degree angle in your left um, uh, shin here. But if you can't, no worries. Totally fine. Again, looking to feel this stretch on the outside of the left leg, the same place that we were working during those lap day walks. Beautiful. One more stretch here, so go ahead and drop onto that left hip, come into a seated position, whatever feels best. We're gonna do a nice little lat um, and tricep stretch. So bring your right hand over your head. We're going to drop the hand down our backs. So again, feeling the stretch in our triceps, what we were working with those dips, but also in through the side of the body, the lats, what we were working with those bent over rows. Beautiful, go ahead and release and repeat on the other side. Always breathing here. Nice, one more big breath in. Exhale it out. Beautiful job, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. You can check out our website at studentwellness.uiowa.edu for more fitness and other wellness related resources. If you're looking for some more at home fitness resources, check out the Reg Services website. We'll also link that page in the comments below. Have a great day, Hawks.